About six o'clock that evening, the Indians again put in their horrible appearance. A soldier of the Dakota Cavalry, Jarvis by name, was stationed as a picket on a high peak of the hills which surrounded us. Sitting there unconcerned, contentedly smoking his pipe, his meditations were suddenly aroused by some noise. On looking behind, he saw Indians crawling slyly toward him from the other side of the peak. One glance was sufficient, and leaping with a few bounds down the hillside, he sprang on his horse. From around the peak, dozens of mounted Indians yelling at the top of their voices came. All was commotion in the camp. Many of the men took their guns and hastened to meet Jarvis to cover his retreat. It was a race for life and one of the most dramatic and intense and exciting races one could witness.